Welcome to another chapter of Automation with Power Automate, where today we will unlock the sole secret weapon of the Dataverse Legacy Connector, the very powerful when a row is selected trigger. This tutorial is not just a how-to, it's going to serve as your blueprint to unleashing a new level of efficiency in your workflows to help your users. Ready to revolutionize those automation skills? Let's dive right in. We'll start this flow from a solution file. Go to New, Automation, Cloudflow, and Instant. So anything you want to use the when a row is selected trigger with will require it to be an instant flow. So we can call this send email to selected rows. Right. And then all the triggers available to you are going to show up here. We are scrolling down till we find this one when a row was selected. And then we'll hit create. We've got a couple things to configure in our trigger. So we're going to use the default environment. This doesn't have the environmental awareness that the main Dataverse connector does. Then we're going to select our table. So let's do contacts. For this use case, we are going to allow our sales reps or our users to select one or many contacts and then have an email sent to those contacts. So our next step, we are going to look for the Dataverse connector, get a row by ID. So it's right here. We're going to select this. And since I'm going to send this email, I want it to send from the owner of the contact record, which is why we're going to build this step. I need to get all of the information on the user table who owns that contact. So we are going to select the user table. And then we're going to pull in dynamic content to get the row ID. So I'm looking for the unique identifier, which you can actually type in here of the contact. And now we're going to add our final step, which is going to be send an email. I'm going to use Outlook to send it. But you can choose any of the trigger, any of the actions that make sense. So I'm going to use send an email version two of the Outlook app. So my two, I'm going to click add dynamic content and I want the primary email right here from my initial step. If I pick the other step, that's going to give me the email from this get row by ID, which is my user, which is what I do need for the from. So let's grab that, add dynamic content, and that's my primary email. Then I just have to add a subject and a body. So here we are with a very simple email, and all I have to do now is save, and then we'll test our flow. So now we're in a sales hub, we're in a model-driven app, I'm on the contact table, and if I want to send to one or more contacts, all I'll do is check the box next to them. Again, you can do this for one or multiple. Then we're going to go to flow. And then here's send email to selected rows. That's what we just did. So let's click that. It's going to confirm that you do indeed want to run this flow on these contacts. We're going to click continue. Also a note, you see I'm already logged in with my valid connections because I built the flow. Your users might need to allow for the connections here if they haven't yet. So they'll do that, click continue, and then click run flow. So it's nice that it has that little check and balance. Are you sure? Did you authenticate? Are you sure? Cool. And that's it. It's a fairly simple flow. It's a really powerful trigger. And again, it is the one time you are going to continue to use that Dataverse Legacy connector. So have fun playing around with the flow and happy flow crafting.